This is the enigmatic Cajun city fortress in China. Upon discovery, historians were quick to suggest that neighboring villagers built this to hide from bandits. According to them, the inhabitants were primitive farmers who had no weaponry to defend themselves. Nobody knows who carved these ancient doorways, yet historians already have a presumption about their function as a hideout. But humor me this. Why would anyone construct a colossal 30-foot doorway if their main goal was to conceal their location? That defies logic. If hiding was the objective, wouldn't a small, inconspicuous hole serve better function? The sheer scale of the doorway suggests a purpose far grander, perhaps more mysterious even than just a hideout. These imprints bear an unmistakable signature, contradicting the historian's claims of primitive tool usage. The very notion that anyone could craft this architectural marvel without the aid of metal is mildly put far-fetched. Why? Well, it turns out the cave behind the door isn't a natural formation. Someone carved the whole rock inside out, and it ain't the only man-made fortress in China that suggests the use of advanced technology. We found over a thousand caves that were dug the same way, and all of them are connected to a set of mysterious Chinese pyramids very few people have heard of. It took me a while to locate the ancient Hajian fortress on the satellite, mainly because it's not indicated in any way. But if we take a closer look, we will see how naturally surrounded and protected the area is. Some might also find this right angle quite weird for a mountain. I've never seen anything like it. Parallel and perpendicular mountains surround the ancient dugout. It makes me wonder whether these aren't carved too. In conspiracy circles, theories are circulating that perhaps an ancient civilization built the whole place with bricks and later covered it with dirt and molten sandstone. What crossed my mind, however, when I saw this carving was how remarkably similar to the Longyu Caves it is. The Longyu Caves are 24 enormous caverns, all carved by hand, confirmed to be at least 2000 years old. From then on, if we take a look northwest, 120 miles away, there are the Hushuan Grottoes, another 36 man-made caves which are carved into the sandstone of Chinese mountains. But these locations aren't the only ones. I took the liberty to search for others, and it turns out there are thousands of man-made caves all across China. I pinpointed some of the most interesting ones on this map. Many of these were way more advanced than mainstream historians argue. Look at the Hoshuan grottoes. Right angles, completely flat ceilings and walls. Millions of cubic meters of stone were carved, missing. Without advanced technology, carving these would take centuries. And did I mention that the famous terracotta army and tomb are located under 200 miles away from the Heijin city fortress? This is a very historically rich area that we know very little of. A bit to the north is another strange location, the Longman Grottoes. Guys, there are a hundred thousand statues within 2030 caves there. I repeat, over a hundred thousand statues in 2330 caves there. The majority of the statues are monolith, which means all the rock surrounding the statues has been carved out and removed. And what remains is just the statue. Picture how large the pyramids of Giza are. The Great Pyramid weighs over 12 billion pounds or 5 million tons. Well, the amount of rocks removed from here is more than that. Historians believe these primitive people removed twice as many rocks with bronze tools. We can easily calculate how long it would take them, but I've already done that in my Petra video. With these tools, it takes around half a year for a person to drill a cubic meter of sandstone, if they are skilled. This means if 50,000 people drill day and night, it would take them 80 years to drill the Longyu Caves alone. But these are just 24 caves. What about the other 11,000 caves? Well, yeah. Of course, probably a large portion of the cave was already there, and then it was just modified by humans. But still, that's a lot of work. All the man-made caves we found in China 
share similar features. In most of them, we can see parallel chiseling marks 24 inches wide, all of which are set at an angle of about 60 degrees to the axis of the course. The Longyu Caves are a prime example of that. The Chinese consider these caverns the ninth wonder of the ancient world for a reason. There are over 10,000 caves that show human modification in this area alone, and most of them are dated back to at least 2,000 years old. And the Hushuan Caves are even bigger, and some parts of them remain unexplored still. It turns out, Many of these caves were entirely man-made. They weren't natural formations that were later expanded on. Why wouldn't the locals use the existing caves but build new ones? Because there are many caves that are already natural ones. That's increasingly more difficult to actually dig a cave. They needed the stones for something else. I'm thinking perhaps they just needed stones. We haven't asked the most puzzling question yet. If these ancient people carved out millions of tons of rocks, where is all the material they removed? That's a mystery nobody can answer. But perhaps I might have a suggestion. Just like the ancient Egyptians, the Chinese built pyramids with the stones, but much bigger than the ones in Egypt. We know that the Egyptian pyramids were built with stones carried from hundreds of miles away. But if they could, the builders would certainly obtain the stones from somewhere nearby. Did you know that there are pyramids in China as well? I'm not talking about the tomb of Emperor Jing of Han or General Jian Jilin. I'm talking about the White Pyramid of China, which is almost three times larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Now, you would think, given how big China is, perhaps the Chinese pyramid is positioned somewhere distant from all of these caves, castles, and underground cities. But it isn't. It's less than 200 miles away from most of the carved caves. And it is only 100 miles away from the Heijin city fortress. The Great White Pyramid is located near an ancient city of Qian, in the valley of Shanxi province. And given its size, they would have needed at least 30 billion pounds of stones to build this enormous thing. It's a thousand feet high, almost twice the height of the Egyptian pyramid. The stones removed from the carved caves might have been used in constructing this pyramid. These caves serve the dual purpose, as quarries for the pyramid's materials and as tunnels designed for another, undisclosed function. Looking from the air, a satellite image, we see that there are many pyramids in the area. All of them are perfectly aligned to the north. Unfortunately, these pyramids are heavily guarded by the Chinese military. Sadly, we cannot visit them. But everything matches up completely. The volume of stone missing from the carved caves near the area is more than 4 million cubic meters. This is roughly the volume of the pyramid mounds of the White Pyramid of Shaanxi province. These pyramids weren't always covered with dirt. In the 17th century, a Roman Jesuit wrote about them, and in 1785, a French Orientalist described them in an essay. At the time, he thought the Chinese had been an Egyptian colony because he saw the pyramids. I don't really know about that. We've seen pyramids all over the world, and most of them aren't Egyptian. But these are being purposely hidden from us. In the 1980s, the Chinese government funded local farmers to start growing crops and vegetation on top of these pyramids so they could conceal them. But we can clearly see what they are. China, you're not fooling us. Take a look at the Mexican pyramids before and after excavation. They too looked like a hill. And these Chinese ones, well, they are far more convincing, even though they are buried with dirt. Unfortunately, some mysteries like Area 51's UFO landing sites, the ancient city of Palmyra in Syria, and these Chinese pyramids cannot be unveiled until the military stops guarding them. But believe me, when they stop guarding, I will be one of the first to visit and inform you of the truth. Do pyramids and ancient discoveries excite you? They excite me too. That's why I collected information about all 1255 pyramids on Earth. In one video, because there's plenty of evidence that one global civilization built them. See you there.